Okay, I've got a YouTube user who's asking me how I was able to wire up my LEDs and where I attach them to. Behind my dash, inside the cluster, I've got a uh, I've got two strips of blue LEDs, and he was curious as to how I got power for them. Well, I'm going to show you guys here real quick. I'm going to start by removing the two screws under this panel to get to this switch. That's where I tied my power in. So just hold tight for a second. Okay, I removed the two screws. Again, still functioning, whatever. Now, the one thing with LEDs, they are polarity sensitive, so you have to watch what exactly you hook up to here and the direction at which you hook them up. Because if you hook them up wrong, they're not going to work. So, I think it's going to be easy to see it all here. Inside my dash, these two, yeah, you can't really tell. These are the two leads that actually come from the LEDs themselves. So what I did, looking at the switch face, that actually turns on the parking lights. So that'll activate all the lights on the outside of the vehicle. With the connector still in place, I had my voltmeter here, and I checked the leads. I was looking for a lead that was powered on with 12 volts when the switch was pressed. So basically when I turn the switch on, I'm looking for one of the pins from that switch, which is the center one, that will have power only when the switch is on. Okay, no problem. So what I did was I tapped into that line, and I tied my positives for the LED lights to my switched positive from that switch. The other side of the LEDs, I just ran to a ground. I believe I went behind the A-pillar, and I grounded behind there just to the chassis of the vehicle. So that way my LEDs had a positive and negative. And I think that this white wire here that's spliced in actually goes to light up the gauges themselves because they are also, uh, they also have a backlight tied in with the same switch. So that's as simple as it was. You just need to find yourself a switched positive and a ground. And your ground is whatever metal is attached to the vehicle as, so long as it's uh, eventually tied to the battery at some point. So that is as easy as it is. If you got any more questions, feel free to leave a comment or uh, just send me a message and ask away.